Decision 2022, and in the 24 hours leading up to this election day, WPTV crossed the state to get a sense, a strong sense of the pulse of voters, how they're feeling and what they're thinking about the midterms. Now, our Ashley Glass, she traveled from here in West Palm Beach to the Tampa area, stopping in Port St. Lucie, where Democrats have a slight edge, also stopping in Bartow, a small town that leans Republican. And as Ashley will tell you, it's a mixed bag of emotions because of the candidates, the issues, and what all of it could mean for our future. It's no problem to talk politics at Rick's Diner in Port St. Lucie where registered Democrats outpace Republicans by about 6,000 voters. But better keep it polite. Coffee for you? If you want to fight, there's plenty other places to go. Otherwise, owner Mike Hyde will kindly pick up the tab and ask you to leave. It's part of our politeness. We call it buying your last meal. Mike can't remember the last time he had to put someone out over politics. I'm a registered Democrat. We're Republicans. His customers, mostly regulars, oblige, despite having very different feelings about the midterm elections. Overwhelmed. That would be it in a nutshell. Overwhelmed. Everything is so divided. Yeah, everybody's really excited. We're very excited about the possibility of getting back to kind of normal life like we had a couple of years ago before gas was horrible and inflation was horrible. And Across Florida in Bartow, in Republican-leaning Polk County. I'm scared about this county. Oh, I think they care extremely. I think they're very optimistic. A town favorite for tacos is ripe with talk of the gubernatorial race. Support for the incumbent, Governor DeSantis. I just love him. I think he has wonderful leadership. And challenger, Congressman Christ. A friend of mine called me. We put together a small sum of money. I think it was $1,600, about eight of us raised, and sent it to Charlie Chris. But the chatter stops with owner Maria Ochoa, telling us she's registered to vote, but nothing more. Politics divide people. And I know, being a Mexican restaurant, they, if I go one way, I might lose my Mexicans. If I go my other way, I might lose my... American, so I try to stay very neutral. Sure, she picks up on political tidbits constantly from customers. But usually what I hear, I never repeat. Because any other way is just plain rude. Ashley, love your sense of the mood, sense of the moment <laughs> stories. And as you crisscross the state, anything else that sort of has you say have an aha moment of surprise yes we had a really hard time getting people in Bartow to talk to us it's the county seat in Polk County and uh, during the lunch hour rush it was packed with a lot of local government workers and much like you just heard from Maria the restaurant owner they didn't want it to cause any problems with the workplace you know them talking about their political views there on camera on TV so we had a really hard time getting people to be comfortable just talking to us but the ones that did talk I thought that was great because it's it's it Everybody is talking about the midterm elections, just about. So. Sure, yeah, bopping great. around those diners. I mean, every table you passed by, you did hear chatter of, of the elections. It is, it is what is happening now. And speaks to the sense of the moment about the sensitivity of our politics as we all move on. So thank you yeah. as you logged the mileage for us across <laughs> Florida. Appreciate it, Ashley.